Good evening, guys. Trevor Thompson, TNT Pressure Cleaning. Dynamite service with explosive results. We did probably one of the dirtiest pool cages um, that I've done in a very, very, very long time. Didn't look all that bad from the video that you guys can look at, either above or below this one. But um, man, I had three and a half foot sections of ferns attached to the beams. Take a look at the pool enclosure now. Does that look gorgeous or what? Take you inside and show you what we did. We ran a 4% solution straight out of the X-Jet. Um, I nuked it and uh, I really didn't even pre-treat a whole lot. Um, I did get windows wet, walls wet, uh, because I didn't wanna, you know, I didn't do any uh, testing, um, you know, to see if the uh, paint was color fast. Uh, I wanted to make sure. We're gonna be doing this house. You can see what the flashing looks like. I mean, take a look at that. The roof is dirty, the whole the whole place is dirty, but they're gonna have it paint, so they're, we're, they're getting in touch with the painters right now. But um, yeah, like I said, we ran the X-Jet, 4,200 PSI, four gallon a minute, cold water unit, belt driven with the AR nickel plated eight, uh, 13 horse on the back. We ran 150 feet of supply line. We got 100 foot of that 3.8 single braid and uh, 50, fit, 50 feet of supply line. Uh, this is um, siphon hose, I'm sorry, it's not supply line. Um, so anyway, we climbed up on that flat roof up there and we took care of that gutter and we did the entire pool cage all the way around. And I mean, this thing was left over from Hurricane Ian. So it's been sitting for a long time. I'm gonna show you kind of what this looks like. Okay, now this looked identical uh, to this. So if we go in here, um, I'll let you see, you know, what these, you know, Rubbermaid uh, bins used to look like. So that gives you kind of an idea of what, you know, kind of just, you know, just, you know, and that's through the screen. So, you know, as you can see, all the beams are just bright white. The pool deck looks outstanding. Um, I'm going to take some, some pictures here, hopefully with the nitrile glove, I'll be able to do that because we uh, took a bunch of pictures earlier, but you can just see, you know, I mean, all it, this entire cage is gonna be re-screened. Um, so we really didn't need to focus too hard on the screens, but I did. And the reason I did is because it could be some time before they uh, re-screen. They're, they're undergoing a bunch of different projects. This was full. I mean, this area here was so bad, it wasn't even funny. Um, there was such dirt there. I thought I was going to have to turbo tip it, to be quite honest with you, um, is what I really thought. Uh, you know, there was, there was a, a chance that turbo tipping was going to be, uh, something that I was going to need to do. Um, so, you know, uh, sorry to take 10,000 pictures guys, but you know, you can just see how nice the windows look. All the windows are sparkling, shining. This super gutter, I cleaned out the entire run, but it's got some bad spots where it just continues to drip down and drip through, um, you know, but, but you know, the deck, I mean, this deck, refer to that before video, guys. Check out the, refer, uh, you know, the before video and, and just see what, you know, what, uh, what it looked like. We had, you know, wasp nests, spider nests. I got stung by two wasps today. Uh, one on my wrist, one on my arm, um, but just wanted to show you guys what the cage looks like. 4% uh, mix. The deck came out great. Look at all those beams. I mean, it came out really, really nice. Uh, super gutters all taken care of up there. That flat roof is soft, so I really don't want to get up there and, and walk it um, because uh, I don't want to create any more damage. It was already there to begin with, to be quite honest with you. It's really not a good, great roof to be walking, but... Um, yeah, you can just see some of the leftover uh, stuff that was, you know, that was that was in there. But, you know, the, the super gutter's all cleared out. It's running yellow because uh, it could use another flushing, uh, to be quite honest with you. But um, I'm done. You know, I've been here since um, a long time. I took a long, 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 long time uh, to do this. And the reason I did it is because I wanted it right. This was black. This whole area and through here was just black. You can see what the foundation looks like now. See how the foundation's nice and concrete color. And, um, you know, it, uh, it wasn't, a, wasn't an easy project um, at all, but I'm really proud of it. And um, I kept telling myself, you know, it's not really about the money, it's about the quality of work that I do. And um, if this were my place, how would I want it done? And I would want it done, you know, the right way so that these guys can come in here, rip these screens out, respline and um, 
they're gonna have to keep some bleach in a bucket with a little water and soap because once they pull these splines out, there's gonna be a lot of dirt caked up underneath there and I can't, you know, I'm not pulling the splines out. Um, so underneath, you know, I chased out everything I could. Um, anyway, guys, thanks you so much for joining me. This was done with the X-Jet. We're gonna be doing these walkways and everything else. You can see where the hoses, uh, I, I spilled uh, some SH um, when I was filling up my bucket. I went through more gallons than I thought I, and, you know, I would. Uh, and that was to get that cage to look like that. And, um, and it was not an easy, I mean, I did the flashing up here uh, because, you know, um, it was bad. Everything was really, really bad. So just wanted to show you guys that. We'll take a quick little photograph of some things here just to kind of, you know, I don't know what photographs I'm taking and what photographs I'm not taking. I'm tired, I'm done. I was done a couple hours ago. Um, this was a tough one and mainly because Yes, the lichen was killed, but you had to chase it off the screens. I just wanted it like aesthetically pleasing so they could walk out of their home and, you know, not see such a nasty cage. Check out that before video. I hope I captured it in all of its glory. It was, it was like a haunted mansion. I mean, it was something that you haven't got a chance to witness in a long time. Um, and it was all over the place. So uh, have a great day, everyone. Keep cleaning. Trevor Thompson, TNT pressure cleaning. Sorry, I look so tired, but I am. Take care. Have a great night. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. I'll uh, try to answer them just as quickly as I possibly can. Thank you everybody for your positive feedback. Uh, we're all out here trying to feed our families and um, continuing to educate ourselves uh, on you know the latest and greatest um, and techniques and things of that nature. So um, hope everyone's doing well out there. Uh, stay hydrated in the summer heat and um, take care. Thank you, bye-bye. That's uh, pool enclosure cleaning. I'll get a nice little view of that. It looks really good, guys. I mean, that thing's white compared to what it was. It was green and black. Good night.